Alrighty, this is the first in our series of how to use cool stuff on MCAU. So, um, today I'm going to build a shop. Um, as you see, we've got some shops set up here already, but these are admin shops. Basically just to um, let people you know, earn money by doing the basic stuff. You can sell sand, you can sell gravel, cobble, doesn't make you very much money because it's easier to make. But, um, you know, it gives you some money. You can also uh, buy and sell wood. Uh, this is wooden plank, so one wooden plank, which is, you get four of those from one log, is worth one dollar. Um, we also sell specific logs, log types, if you can't be bothered finding them, you can buy them for ten dollars each. But normally it's easier just to get it yourself. Today, however, I have a pile of diamonds. Lots of them. 64, in fact. Obviously, I've just hacked those into my inventory. And you'll see that um, the shop is already selling them for 80. So if I was to buy 100, if I was to buy 4, see the second line here is 4, that's the how many you buy, I would buy them for 100 and I would sell them for 80. So uh, I reckon I can sell them for cheaper than that. So I've started to build a little shop over here, over the bridge here at Spawn. So we'll just go for a bit of a wander over the bridge. Well, I'm actually hungry. I don't have any food. Well, let's hope I don't die. When you run out of food, you drop down to five hearts. Well, you lose five hearts when you're starving, so it should be fine. I'm not going to do anything stupid like uh, jump off a cliff or anything. <coughs> and here is the shop that I've built here. Well, started to build. It's a bit odd. Doesn't have any doors, does, doesn't have anything in it yet. First thing I need to do is put some doors on here. And I have some doors here in my inventory. So let's put them on. There we go. Doors. Wonderful. Now I need to put some chests down. Because we use the chest shop mod. Mod. Let's put them here. There's a chest. And into that chest, I'm going to put all these diamonds. Done. Now, because this isn't actually protected at all, and if we go Kit Tools, you'll see that we now have some tools, including the string. The string is the important one. If you right-click on the ground, it'll tell you whether anything is defined in this area. Over here, for example, it is protected. I won't let anyone destroy it. And Enderman's obviously got into that block there. But this isn't protected. So, I'll use slash slash wand. And look, I get a wooden axe. I want to start here. First position set. And right click on this one. Second position set. Now, I want to move up. One, two, three, four, five. So, how about I, I expand five blocks. Oh, I'll go six blocks up. So, that now covers up to the top of the roof. And I don't want people digging in underneath me. So, I'll expand, expand a couple blocks down too. Expand. Let's go three down. There we go. Region claim... Jade's shop. I'm actually using my daughter's account for this. And I have now protected that region. Right click on there, Jade's shop. Right click on there, Jade's shop. Right click on here, nothing defined. Because I selected this corner here. And this corner here. But nothing past it. Okay, now I've protected the region. I might put a sign up the top up here. Have I got any signs? I do. Here we go. Diamonds. Bought. And sold. There we 
go. Now, if you remember, um, the admin shop was selling them for 100 and buying them back for 80. I need some torches. Have I got any torches? I do. It's getting a bit dark. Don't need any more doors. So we'll just throw some torches up in here. Better. So, here's my chest. Now, if you look at the information on the page uh, linked in this video, or on the page you're reading from, you'll see that you leave the first line blank, the second line is the quantity, now the third line is the bit that is confusing, because people think it's the wrong way around. The amount you're typing in is from the perspective of the buyer, not from your perspective. So, they want to buy one gem, one diamond gem, for 20 and we will, they will sell it to us at 10. And we're selling a diamond. Now when we click done, you can also put the item ID code in there and we'll actually just use that to show you, which is 264. 264 is the item ID of a diamond and you can look at that in the Minecraft Wiki data values. When we create this sign by clicking on done, it will change that 264 to diamond and put the name of the account creating this at the top. There we go, JT Diamond. So now if someone was to come along, and I'll just switch to my other account while I do this because I happen to have two accounts going at the same time. And I just should have appeared here and I'll turn up in a second. So it's a little bit laggy at the moment. No, I, the server has decided to be laggy. However, I am actually standing here. And if I was to... Hang on. The easy way is we go BAL. See what our current balance is. Obviously this is my daughter's account. She has a large balance. In the chest, we have 64 diamonds. 64, nothing else. And I, just on my other account, bought a diamond. Oops. I've just protected that chest, which isn't actually necessary. Lo uh, Locket protects chest by right-clicking on it with a sign. I've just bought a diamond, and you'll see there's now 63 diamonds in this chest. And I have a balance of 4464, because I've just sold one for $20. If I was to go on my other account again, I'm sorry I can't show you this because I can't capture two screens at the same time. There I am. That's me over there. So I am now going to sell that diamond back by right-clicking on the sign. Oops, I actually bought it by right-clicking. I sell by left-clicking. And I've just sold one. I see I actually bought another one. See, um, I bought one diamond and I just sold one diamond and... oh, I did it again I have just sold two diamonds back so, what I have done is we've got 64 diamonds back but we've just increased our savings by people being an idiot so, it, it is a bit hard to um, have people buy and sell stuff, especially if they click the wrong way, they can feel a bit ripped off. It may be worth having... I'll move, that, move my other account out of the way. It may be worth having two signs. Um, they can both be linked to the same chest, just to make sure that you know, this is the buy sign, this is the sell sign. You can also have multiple things in a chest. Let's put some wood in there as well. And leave the first line blank. One, we're going to sell wood for one dollar and buy it for one dollar. Exactly the same as spawn. Name appears at the top. Now you'll notice here as well, it does cost you thirty dollars to create a shop. So you can't just randomly go and start making shops everywhere. You have to actually have some money first. That's an important thing. It stops shops appearing everywhere. So here I am. I'm going to go and 
buy some wood. There we go. I've just bought some wood. And if we look inside the chest, you'll see that our... Oh, I just protected it, it again. I keep holding the sign. If we look inside our chest, you'll see that the number of wood we have has dropped down. So a shop doesn't... a chest doesn't need to only contain the item you're selling. You can have multiple items and you can have multiple signs around the chest. You could put signs all around here. I think they may work here. Um, it does say within one block. I'm not sure whether that's actually... This is the one block it's within. I don't know. So, uh, that's how you make a shop. It's pretty easy. And um, if you have any questions, ask on IRC using the Talk To Us link on the right of the webpage. Or uh, on Mumble, again, which is using the Mumble uh, information on the right of the page. Thanks.